All right, so this is a very impromptu video. I did not plan on making a video today because I don't really make videos that much, but we're making a video today because I am kind of a jackass. <laughs> that, that's, that's essentially why I'm making a video today. To do a little bit of an experiment because I am in a little bit of a, a little bit of a bind, if you will. So basically, I was using my computer and um, my graphics card was getting very, very hot, um, like just not even doing a whole lot, um, like no intense gaming, no heavy rendering or whatever. Um, it, the fans would spin at like 100 and it was like 80 plus degrees, so uh, 80 degrees Celsius. So I, I was like, well, that's not good. So. Uh, I hadn't, I went for like a very long time where I didn't use my computer. And what happens when you don't use your computer is the thermal compound that is on your components, it dries out. Um, and so that's probably what happened to my graphics card. Yeah, that's just, and that is what happened. I opened it up, as you can see, and oh, I, I cleaned the old stuff out. It was all dried out and it was no good anymore. And so once I had cleaned it off, I was like, all right, well, let me go grab some new thermal paste. And I reached into my toolbox here. I actually didn't, finding this, finding this tube of thermal paste was an adventure. I had to go into my attic because for whatever reason, I had, I put this in my attic. So I'm like, oh, I'll never need to use thermal paste again. God, son, you're destroying the video. I'll never need to use thermal paste again. I'm just going to put it in this chest in all the back of my attic and I'm going to put 30 million boxes on top of it and I'm going to make it really hard for my future self to get to this this tube of thermal paste. Thanks, me. So, well, I, I, I did find it eventually and I was like, oh, thank goodness I found it. So I, you know, I, I went to put it on and... I came to the realization that it was completely empty. <laughs> and this is my only tube of thermal paste I had left. So I don't have any thermal paste, which means I can't put thermal paste on my graphics card, which means I can't use my computer. And I kind of need to use my computer because I use it for important stuff, like stuff that I do, not just playing video games, I promise. <clears throat> And I can't use my computer without this graphics card because I don't want to use any of these crappy graphics cards that I've done videos on in the past that you should definitely go watch. I want to use my GTX 970. So I looked some stuff up and I saw that you can use toothpaste as thermal paste as like a uh, quick fix solution. And um, the, the big... The big guys, the big boys, the big YouTubers, they've, they've all done videos on like, oh, we're going to use peanut butter as thermal paste. They've, they've all done stuff like that. So, uh, but this is more of a realistic scenario because I actually, it's not just an experiment. Like I actually, well, it's kind of an experiment. It's like an experiment that was derived upon necessity, I guess. Um... I'm gonna use ther I'm I'm gonna use thermal paste. I wish I could use thermal paste. I'm gonna use toothpaste, and we're gonna see if it actually works. This is a very realistic scenario. See what I'm trying to get at? It's 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 more realistic. It's not just like a controlled scientific experiment. This is like I'm actually gonna use it until at least until new thermal paste arrives, which will only take a few days because I have Amazon Prime. But um, yeah. All right, so I got toothpaste here. So let's see, let's see if this works. So we're just gonna do the regular method of applying thermal paste, except it's toothpaste. Come on. Uh, okay, there. Nice glob. That's that's probably too much, but whatever. Um, I don't care. I'm just gonna put the cooler back on yet yeah, that's the right way okay and just kind of set it on there all right okay and make sure I plug plug this fan in mmm 
smells like toothpaste. And I have reinstalled the heatsink and fan and the back plate. So yeah, let's let's throw it in the PC and see if it explodes or overheats and cooks itself to death. And then I'm I have a how much was this? This was like three hundred some dollars. I have like a three hundred dollar paperweight. This has always been an absolute pain in the asshole to install graphics cards. But who cares? Because it's installed. All right, moment of truth. Let's hit that power button. Ooh. Let's see if it explodes. Nah, it looks to be looks to be just fine. Well, I'd have to put the GPU under load in order to <clears throat> see if the uh, toothpaste works effectively. All right, uh, I don't care about mining for Bitcoin. Okay, uh, let's see. Where is my thing? Here we go. MSI Afterburner. Wonderful. Uh, 34 degrees idle temperature. Actually, that's that's actually not bad. Let's not overclock, because that, that, that's probably not a good idea. Set the priority to temperature. And let me make sure I have an on-screen display here. Yeah, monitoring, there we go. GPU temperature, okay, all seems good. Um, let's play the game. Let's play the game that I'm wearing the jacket to, I guess. If, if Steam wants to work. Because Steam, Steam likes to <laughs> be really slow sometimes. Uh, hey, Fallout 4, let's not get bothered by people. Okay, Fallout 4. Preparing to launch Fallout 4. Play. This is a good game right here. Well, I don't know, a lot of people, a lot of people shit all over this game. But I like it. It's, uh, yeah, it's probably really loud. We'll put it at 30. All right, so right there is our temperature. That's what you want to keep an eye on. All this other stuff is very irrelevant, and it doesn't matter. So just, just uh, well, actually, that, that I guess that's kind of important, that, that there. But um, the top line is all you really want to pay attention to. <sighs> Adhesive is rare and used to create nearly every mod. No kidding. No kidding, loading screen tips. OK. Uh, yeah, let's just walk around. See, uh, see, 51 degrees. That's not bad. Surprisingly, it seems to be working just fine. Um, of course, not a not a whole lot's going on. There's not like explosions and stuff flying around everywhere. See if I can get into some action. Oh, goodness, fire lurks. That does not do a whole lot of damage. Yeah. Hey, come here. Yeah. Take it. Oh god. All right. Go. Oh goodness. enough. Freaking Meyer lurks. 66, 65 degrees. Not bad, not bad. It's 
71. Okay. Seems to be working just fine. Oh, what's that? What's that? That's an angler. Not, not sure I want to be messing around with that. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. <laughs> I'm gonna run away. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. So, oh, freaking. God, I'm getting radiation. Oh boy, what are you doing? Haha, -ha. your face got crippled, I think. Die. Die. You're dead. Haha. -ha. I'm gonna take your radiated blood, your meat. I'm taking your meat. <laughs> Sounds good. That doesn't sound right. Uh, alright. What is, oh, there's another one. Oh god, it's almost like I'm not gonna fight it because I've probably been playing for way too long and you guys are probably getting bored. Alright, so that, that ran fine for like a little bit. And temperatures are coming back down, which is normal. Alright, so let's just, um, Let's, uh, let's stress the shit out of it, shall we? Let's download Furmark, because I don't think I have it on here. Do I have Furmark on here? Uh, uh, do I have, like, any, like, Ida64? Oh, that's a CPU thing, isn't it? I don't know. I don't, I don't pay attention to these things. Uh, Furmark. Downloads. Hey, download. Yes, just hurry up. Is this it? Or is this a virus? I think that's it. Give it to me. 10 megabytes. Please. That is like nothing for my internet. Even though it took... <laughs> it took... Uh, yeah. Uh, are, are you running twice? No, don't run twice. Um, I accept. Uh, yeah, that's fine. What is this? Start menu? Whatever. Desktop shortcut, please. Thank you. I don't want the release notes. Finish. Okay. Um. True GPU stress test. Very intensive. <laughs> System shut down. Uh. Go. This is the this is the real deal right here. Uh oh. Oh, please stop climbing. Oh, up, that, that, up, up. No. Let's just see what happens. Eighty degrees. We've hit eighty degrees Celsius. Oh, back down to seventy nine. I feel like a, I feel like a sports commentator. It's like, oh, and now he's on the eighty, and now he's on the seventy, the seventy-nine. God damn, that's cringy. <laughs> oh man, we're getting one hundred eleven FPS though. That's, that's um, yeah. I think that's good. I don't know. I don't know if this has like a, a fit, like if this runs for a fixed time and then it stops or you just can stop it whenever. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to go above 80 because I set the limit to 79 and I think I think the toothpaste is doing, the, it's basically doing fine. The thing about toothpaste, um, it works good for like a while. It, it basically, it works as good as thermal paste. It just, it doesn't last not nearly as long because, you know, toothpaste isn't really, it's not really what toothpaste is designed for. It's just, it, it, it works like for a less amount of time than thermal paste does. Cause thermal paste is designed to be in a computer, whereas toothpaste is designed to clean your teeth and then be spit out and it goes down a drain. 
So I, I believe toothpaste has a tendency to dry out a lot faster than traditional thermal paste. So that's it. Again, if you're like me and you're in kind of a bind, you're in a situation, you're in a, a pinch, yeah, toothpaste is fine. I would totally recommend using toothpaste in your, you know, dual SLI 2080 Ti. Uh, toothpaste works good. Um, I might have been kidding about the SLI 2080 Ti's, but, you know, basically I, I'm just about to repeat what I just explained. So that's really it. Um,